Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Friday, March 12th. Today's Gospel reading comes to us from the 12th chapter of St. Mark's Gospel. It reads, One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask Jesus any more questions. When Jesus tells a scribe that he is not far from the kingdom of God, We should not see this comment as a critique. Because we've all had moments in our lives when people inform us that we're short of a goal or short of a certain amount and and that this is a negative reality. It's a failure. But since Jesus saw the scribe answered with understanding, we again know that Jesus' words are not meant to hurt this man, but to help him understand how he can get closer to the kingdom of God. So commentators have said about this passage that Jesus' comment to the scribe points to the reality that we need to know our faith, which this man does, but we then need to put it into action in our lives. So this man is not far from the kingdom, but now he needs to live out these two greatest commandments in his life. And if he does... He will begin to participate in the kingdom of heaven now as he awaits to be called home to eternal life. And in the study of theology, we would say that the catechesis needs to turn into praxis. The learned knowledge of the faith now needs to be lived out and to put into practice. And for many of us, knowing the faith is the easy part but we don't know how to live it out in our lives. And the part of the reason for this reality is, is that knowledge is one thing, but putting into practice is another. So again, we know we need to love our neighbor, what, but what does that look like when our neighbor is very hard to love? We know we need to forgive, but people are very difficult to forgive. So many of us constantly feel as if we're not meeting the mark. Because no matter what we do, it seems as if we fall short of what we believe God is asking us to do. But if you're one of those people who is getting discouraged in their faith because you are not meeting the mark, I invite you to consider the words of Jesus from today's gospel being directed at you. Any attempt that we do in our lives to live out our faith is truly a sign that we're striving to become closer to God and to enter into the kingdom. Yes, we know that we fall short, but we are trying. And that this attempt, this commitment to try, is very important. Because many times in our life, how do we know if we can put something into practice unless we try? So our attempts at pleasing the Lord and living out our faith are special and are blessed by the Lord and but we just need to make sure that we constantly keep growing and striving through our attempts and again if it takes more times more attempts we should be perfectly okay with that but again we are not far from the kingdom if we truly know God's Word and put into practice in our lives. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.